Rasa, and in this video I'm going to be showing my Ninja Tool collection, um, some that I made, some that I bought elsewhere, some that I bought and modified myself. So first, this is this trunk, the Hasami Bako, is, uh, if you watch my other video you see that it turns into a boat. So this is in its disguise as a trunk, a laundry trunk. I'm sorry, I'm keeping everything. So I'm going to start with these small bundles of tools, smaller tools. So first we'll look in this cloth bundle, cotton cloth. Three shaku across. It's basically a sanjaku tenugui. A three shaku long hand towel. The first tool over here is donohi. I always show in my videos. Um, it's char cloth or other char material around a steel rod. You light it and it burns slowly and stays warm for a long time. You can light fires. In this storage tube, I have like Shuriken. These are, I tried to make them like Chishin Ryu style. This tube has Sen, little wooden pegs that go with some other tools coming up. This is an empty one. This one has rolled up paper and stone pencils. Sekihitsu, the stone pencil. Then we have uh, Nobe Kagi from the Bansenchukai. Nobe Kagi means extendable key. It has a handle part and these. So it can either be, you know, six sun long, this long, which is about seven inches up to about five feet by connecting these together. So to show you how it goes together, it goes on the rivet like that. It can be set at 45 degrees also. So I'll set it at 90. Put a sen wooden peg in it. Extend it out a little more. Put another sen And then um, these tools, uh, these are the dimensions given in the Bunsen Shikai and said to forge it out of thin steel, so I cut it out of Japanese handsaw blades. And so these different tools attach to the end with another sen like this. And then what it's used for is reaching over or under a door or through a door and to use the tool to undo latches, things like that. So, in this pouch, there's two different tools from the Bansen Shukai too. This is Toi Hazushi, a very thin steel tool for undoing latches, um, feeling for latches, things like that. Um, this hole here, for this nail to make a cross shaped cross section to push into a certain kinds of locks that they had in those days or it can be removed and this can be used to lift latches like that and then um, all the edges are dull except for this edge right here and uh, that's for when you can't wiggle a peg loose you're supposed to carve at it with that sharp edge right there so, and then right in the same section of the Bunsen Chukai is the Hamagari, which is in, in a folding saw. And it also goes together with wooden sen pegs, like this. And I tried harder woods, but it actually seems like softer wood is better for these pegs. And then and it can be it can be locked in different shapes and then this is the handle that allows it to go to an L shape like this put another peg so it 
use like this to go in between doors and you know anywhere where they can find a weakness and cut it and uh, this edge is just sharp teeth there and then this is just a single beveled sharp edge and if you remove some pegs you can also form a triangle with it and I'm not sure exactly why um, but it says so in the Bunsenjukai and go like that and maybe use it in between somewhere like a door like that so these tools all work together to go through a door then we have this this is a made in Japan hand saw a little mini saw and it has a little bit bigger teeth on one side a little smaller on the other and uh, I actually cut down the handle to make it the same as a Bunsenjukai because this blade was already so close to the dimension given so again another tool for going through wooden wooden doors things like that these this is a cutie drill kinda has a crown shape um, for making a smaller hole this is more just a, a sharp spike sort of like a like a barrel plug remover uh, traditional kind of tool and then here's a kunai um, used for prying and digging this one's made for, by budoya budoya.org and um, again goes with these for uh, it, it can be used to get past wooden things pry things open then we have Tsubogiri, which appear in different manuals. This one's made by Budoya.org. This one I made from 01 Tool Steel with a white oak handle. And it's made to cut a circular hole in wood and um, to then put other tools in. And um, so Tsubogiri, hole cutter. Like that. This. The folding sickle, also from the Bansenchukai, uh, the same dimension. And if you notice, a lot of things are six sun long. And I think it's it's so that it's easy to bundle things together. So, yeah, Bansenchukai wasn't very clear on how this locks or anything, so I just devised this way, like the uh, collar goes up, turns, locks it like that. And um, this is unique because it has a double edge. Uh, so I made this outside edge a little more blunt. Just tried to copy the the drawing itself in the scroll. And we have Yadate or Yatate, a portable brush and ink. They always had to draw maps and write messages, so they needed a convenient means of doing so. So that's it for that part. Here's a few other smaller items. Uh, in row, a wooden box to carry medicine home from your belt. Uh, the listening device from the Shinobi Heathen. This is made by Iga Tengu, craftsman. Is this is made for listening through walls. A Rashimban, a Rashingi compass and with the old 12 signs used in China and Japan. Another tool talked about in Shinobi manuals, which is also just a regular woodworking tool, but the Shinobi Heaton tells you a range of sizes to carry, and, uh, you know, made for cutting through wood. And more woodworking tools used by Shinobi some are just normal woodworking tools, some are made to the dimensions in the manuals. This is one example of that, which is a large sickle saw, and this is from the Shinobi Hiden, made to the dimensions given in the manual. This is spring steel and a white oak handle. I had to make a sheath for it. This is also from the Shinobi Hiden, the same section. Um, and it's for cutting in corners as well as other situations 
and this is also made to the dimensions in the manual. And then these are just regular modern version, but not much has changed, um, only that they have a quick release way, so different kinds of saws for different purposes. Um, saws like this are more what you see in Shinobi manuals, um, but pointed. Pointed double-edged saws like the last one there, that's what you normally see all different sizes. Here's sickles and hatchets. Um, this is like the one in the Shinobi Hiden, approximately the same dimensions, flat on one side, one big bevel on this side, multi-purpose tool or for defense. Decided to show some other tools that aren't, aren't in the manuals but they're traditional. This is a Shredo brand, comma, actually made for fighting rather than agriculture. So this is called a nata, and this is a nata gama, which is a combination of nata machete and kama sickle. And it's just a farming tool, just for cutting the low branches, pruning, things like that. Here's one I made more for it's a fighting style. Iga Tengu sent me the 01 tool steel blade. And then I made the purple heart handle. Has more of a fighting style shape for piercing rather than agricultural and much more sturdy construction around the collar. Here's a normal agricultural sickle. Something that Shinobi would definitely be familiar with and have around, though it's not actually described in the manuals. Multi-purpose. Then I decided to take this one out again so I can show you. This is the sickle from the Shinobi Hiden, made to the dimensions in the Shinobi Hiden. A thick, kind of blunt sickle used for going through the plaster and walls to expose a bamboo framework that you can then cut with the saws. And, you know, defense and other other utility uses. And so, the Shinobi Hiden, Hiden is a much older manual than the Bansenchukai. So in the Bansenchukai, um, where this sickle comes from, it actually said in the old days they were fixed and now they should they should be foldable. So to me it seems like this is the Bansenchukai's answer to the old Shinobi Hiden sickle. It's a, it's a more high-tech version of it. These are cloth torches called Kinu from the shinobi section of the Gunpo Joshu. Uh, it's just cotton cloth uh, with pine sap rubbed on it as it's wrapped up. This is the signal box. This is from the Yokan Kajo Denmoku Kugi. And uh, there's a candle inside and then these little doors where you can reveal a different shape at night to convey a certain message. And we have here Tetsubishi. Tetsubishi are in a lot of manuals, which just means Caltrop. And Caltrop is a, a little spike you throw on the ground, and there's all different kinds. And here I, I took the Shinobi Hiden suggestion of making string train Tetsubishi, it's called. And so they're at intervals of two sun away, certain distance. And then the string itself is two ken, which is about 12 feet long, different sizes. And they were carried in a leather pouch, so that's why made another leather pouch for sh Shuriken. I know Shuriken don't have any special connection with Ninjutsu, but still, uh, this is one way that they would carry things like this. Um, this kind was made from Budoya.org. Here's another tool from the Bansenchukai called Kumo Bashigo, which means spider ladder. 
It's just a pulley. It can be used to raise and lower equipment like this, or send equipment across a line like this, possibly even as a zip line to travel across. And then, one of my favorite categories, Kaginawa. This one was made by Iga Tengu, and I've been doing this method of lacing the rope called Ebi Musubi, which means shrimp or prawn knot. And it's nice because you just pull and it releases like that. So I like to store a lot of them like that now. So here's another one. A little double pronged one. Here's a really small one. These are all made by Iga Tengu. I made the pulley. I made this. Iga Tengu made these hooks. So here's a really small one, traditional shape. Another traditional shape. You see this kind of shape a lot. I made these, uh, I've seen them in pictures, supposedly connected to ninjutsu. It's probably just a farming tool. Shinobi may have used them for climbing. They do seem like they would be good for climbing a fence or something like that. I tried it on rocky hills and really the only advantage it ever gave me was in dirt. So, so this one, this one is handmade in Cambodia and it was just a gift from a friend of mine. It's not very strong, but I do like how it looks. It looks like a traditional Japanese nage ikari, which means throwing anchor, which is a lot of times when you see a grappling hook, that's what it really is, is an anchor. It's raining outside, sorry. It's another kind. A larger double prong. Iga Tengu made that as well. Here's one I made. Traditional shape. This one has loops in it for climbing. This is another. This is the Takabashigo from the Bansenchukai. I've also heard it pronounced Takahashi. It means a, a high ladder. And this is the one where the loop goes on the rope. You hang equipment from the ring and then you drag it back and forth with a partner dragging the tools back and forth. And then we have from the Bansenchukai also the folding silent sandals. These are the ones I made in about 2012 or 13, and uh, I didn't I didn't have the Bansenchukai yet, so I didn't have the right dimensions. I just keep them. So I had to make another pair, and this is the real size according to the Bansenchukai. Eight sun across, one shaku two sun long. And they don't always fold, it just said that sometimes they were made to fold. So I designed this little hinge mechanism. And they actually fit in the kimono sleeve of a haori, or any of the jackets with the square pockets on the bottom. Then we have Mizugumo. Mizugumo are also from the Bansenchukai, and it means water spider. I have a couple of videos about it. Basically this wooden disc, like this, with a leather seat in the middle, and then underneath the wooden sections are inflated leather bags. And then there's hardware that joins the, the wooden sections together. So, these go in these slots, these hooks go between here. So it's a collapsible device, flotation device, that allows you to sit upright. 
and just stay still without kicking. And you can have your arms free. And they accompany, what are accompanying them is the Mizukaki, Mizukaki Geta, which are flipper sandals. So they secure to your ankle like this, and as your foot goes forward, they're folded in, and then you, when you push back like that, and it does have a lot of thrust, and it seems to take a bit of practice. I was having trouble using them, but uh, when there was no current, they worked really well. So I, I think this and some other water devices are really made for moats or situations with no current. They work much better. So that's from the Bansen Chukai. This is from the Fukushima Ryu Shinobi no Maki. And it's an underwater breathing bag, which I forget what kind of leather was made. I think horse leather. And um, it was sealed with tongue oil until it was kind of plasticized. I, I, this is just waterproof vinyl. And in the manual, it, it describes mouthpiece very much like a snorkel uh, or a scuba mouthpiece, but made from toad skin. And then there's a little straw in the middle that you bite onto, and that was made from deer antler tipped with copper. So, uh, and then there's supposed to be a large lead ball inside to counteract buoyancy. And this was a real challenge to use, but I was able to do it successfully finally. It just took a lot of practice, and I have a glass ball in there, but it's not nearly enough to counterweight it. So, it's that. And for the breathing apparatus, I can't, I can't, in, I can't in, inflate it with my own breath because I'd be expending carbon dioxide. So, I just made a little adapter to the bike pump. So that's how I got it. I never made a video about this because people were afraid of uh, someone trying to copy it and killing themselves. So. And then, speaking of Fukushima Ryu, where the breathing bag comes from is Yauchi Tomeo, which means arrow stopper, which you can see in one of my recent videos. Another one of my favorite tools is the Shinobi Kumade. Kumade means bear claw, and it just means a rake. So this is a Shinobi Kumade secret hidden rake and this claw was made by Iotengu. There's washers. This is from the Shonen Key and in the Shonen Key it says to use coins with holes in the middle. So pull the rope tight and you can climb up and you can see that in my other videos. Here are some different kinds of ladders. This is a rope ladder, which the Bansen Chukai calls a rolled ladder. This is a Hashigo Yari. Hashigo is ladder, Yari is spear. This one's collapsible, these two sections join to make it long. This is from the Bansen Chukai, it's called a flying ladder. This one's called a tied ladder. And when the flying ladder and tide ladder extend together, it's called a cloud ladder. 